Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this propped cantilever beam. In this beam, there is uniformly distributed load 54 kN per meter. It acts for a distance of 4 meter from the left support. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 3. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 3 minus 2. It will be 1. To make this beam statically determinate from the support to B, let us release RB. When we do that, the support to B becomes a free end. We know the formula to find RB minus delta L upon delta. To find both of these two displacements, we are going to use unit load method. In the unit load method, we have to make sections. In this beam, there are two different parts, BC and CA. So, we have to make two sections, one in BC and one in CA. You can see that I have made two sections, one in BC and one in CA. I have made both of the sections at a distance of x from the point B. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. We know that there are two members, BC and CA. Let us enter them. For both of the sections, the origin is B. Now let us enter the limits. For BC, the limit is 0 to 2 and for CA, it is 2 to 6. Now, we are going to find the moment M. We are going to find the moments from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find M in BC. Up to this section, there is no load. So, the movement will be 0. Now, let us find the movement M in CA. Up to this section, there is uniformly distributed load, 54 kN per meter. It is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. For this load, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 2. We know that with the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. After simplification, we will get minus 27 into x minus 2 the whole square. Let us apply that. Now we are going to find the moment small m. To find that, we have to remove all of the loads from the beam and to apply unit load in the direction of Rb. Let us find M in BC and CA. Up to both of the sections, we have only the unit load. About to both of the sections, it is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. 1 into x, we will get x. Let us apply that. Now let us find the delta L. The formula is integration of mm upon ei dx. For bc, no need to make the integration because the value of m is 0. So we can directly apply 0. For delta l, we will get minus 2880 upon ei. Now let us find delta. The formula is integration of m square upon ei dx. Using the formula, we will get 72 upon ei. In this formula, we have found delta L and delta. Let us apply both of them. Finally, for Rb, we will get 40 kN. Now, let us apply the rule. Sigma V is equal to 0 and find Ra. Now, from the point B, let us take a moment about A and find the moment Ma. Rb is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6 so 40 into 6 the uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative we know that with the udl we have to multiply the distance and the distance by 2 
let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. For MA, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now, using the right hand side rule, we can find the shear force values. Here, you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be maximum positive bending moment. Let us make a section in this point and find the distance. You can see that in that point, I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. We know that the shear force in this section is zero. Using that concept, we can find x. Now let us find the maximum positive bending moment. Here we can use right hand side rule. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and this is the distance. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. For the maximum positive bending moment we will get 94.81. Now let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A, we have MA, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be negative. To find the bending moment at C, we can use the left hand side rule. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be positive, and the distance is 2. For bending moment at C, we will get 40. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In this point, the bending moment becomes zero. This is the point of contraflexure. Let us make a section in this point and find the distance. You can see that in that point, I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. By using right hand side rule, we can find the moment in the section. We know that it is zero. Using that concept, we can find x. For x, there will be two values, but this value is not applicable. So x is 1.38 meter. Let us apply that. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.